Hello and welcome to Jemby Drumming episode 3 with Dave and Tim. During the last episode we set you a challenge to do the name game where we worked round the circles round our group all saying either a number or our name. Now this session what we want to do is try and speed that process up a little bit. So we're going to try and get our BPM which was at 80 up to around 110 beats per minute. This can be really challenging because the increase in speed makes us feel a little bit more anxious about whether we're going to get it right. Dave, have you got the metronome? Metronome. Now our metronome is set at 110 beats per minute. Let's see if we can get all the way through our name game. One, two, three, four. Tim, two, three, four. One, Dave, three, four. One, two, Tim, four. One, two, three, Dave. <laughs> now, have a go and see if you can get all the way around your circle doing numbers, number ones with their name, number two with the name, number three with their name, and number four with their name at an increased BPM. You don't have to try and get up to 110 beats per minute, but see how fast you can go. Press pause and have a go. Welcome back. Did you manage to do the name game with an increased BPM? I'm sure there were lots of mistakes. If there were, don't worry. There's always going to be lots of mistakes. There's always plenty of time to get better. During this episode, we're going to add some different and new techniques to Humpty Dumpty to make it more interesting and more complex. Every time we add a new technique, we'll repeat Humpty Dumpty with the accompaniment four times. Let's have a look at what we did last episode. today is what we call a one-liner and a one-liner is where each person going round your group will play one line of the melody of Humpty Dumpty. While that's happening everybody else must sit really still and silent but you can say the rhyme in your head so that when it comes to you you know which line you are going to be played. For instance Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall will be played by person one. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall person two all the king's horses and all the king's men, person three, and couldn't put Humpty together again will be from person number four. Then it repeats all the way around your room until everybody's had a go. If you find when you get to the end that there's still a few lines missing from the rhyme, ask your teacher to play those lines on their own as a little solo. First of all, practice saying it like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now press pause on the video and have a go at doing the one-liners. One line each all the way around the room with the teacher finishing off the phrase. Welcome back. Did you manage to get your one-liners working all the way around the room? Now let's have a go at playing our one-liners. When you work on this, really try and concentrate by saying the rhyme in your head as the rhythm is working its way round your room. It should sound something like this. Now press pause on the video and have a go at doing the one-liners. How did you get on playing your one-liners around the room? And how much of a solo did the teacher do? Now when we add that into our piece, our full piece is going to be extended. So how it will work, we'll have our introduction, followed by four times together with the melody and the accompaniment, like we did last episode. 
Then we'll move into our one-liners, working all the way around the room. Then we'll go back and do our melody and our accompaniment four times. We'll then do our ending, which is our call and response for Humpty Dumpty with a boom. Now we can add that into our piece. Our piece is getting extra long and it's gonna increase with every technique we do. But our piece will now look like this. We'll have our introduction, which is led by one person followed by the response. We'll then go into our melody and accompaniment four times through together. We'll then add our one-liners. Now what will happen for our one-liners is you'll see four of us appear. And that just gives you an indication of how the one-liners will work. But underneath, there'll be an arrow circling to tell you that we want you to go all the way around your room for the one-liners. We'll then play four times together. Again, half with the melody, half with the accompaniment. And then we'll finish with the ending and a big boom. And it should sound something like this. Now press pause on the video and have a go at doing the one-liners. Did you manage to get through the one-liners section? Fantastic if you did. If you didn't, you can always try again. Now moving on to our second technique, we're going to look at how a round can work in a djembe drumming ensemble. A round is where two groups play the same pattern but they start and finish at different times. You may have done a round before in singing. Now the round needs real concentration because you're gonna have somebody else playing different to what you are within your group. Now with your group in two parts, what will happen is group one will start playing the melody to Humpty Dumpty and they'll start from the beginning and work through that melody four times. At the point that group one get to all the king's horses. Group two then come in and start from Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, starting from the beginning. So essentially, group two are starting halfway through group one's phrase. Each group will play their rhyme four times. When you get to the end of that fourth time, you must stop because the other group will be continuing. You can practice a round of Humpty Dumpty by just saying it. Something like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty all the king's Dumpty sat all the on the wall. Men. Humpty Dumpty, Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses Dumpty and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now press pause and have a go at doing Humpty Dumpty as a round. Welcome back. Did you say Humpty Dumpty as a round? Well done if you did. Don't worry if you didn't yet, there's still lots of time to practice. Now let's have a look at what that sounds like on the drums.
go at playing the round for Humpty Dumpty. I hope you managed to complete that. Great stuff. Now, if we add that into our piece, we're going to make our piece even longer. We've now got our introduction, call and response. We then do four times together with the melody and accompaniment, followed by the one-liners. Four times together again, melody and accompaniment, followed by our round. We then add four times together again, melody and accompaniment, and then we finish with our ending with a boom. This is what it will sound like. Press pause and have a go again all the way through our piece as it stands at the minute. Welcome back. Did you manage to do the entire piece all the way through? Practice makes better. better. Our final technique for this episode is another call and response. But this time it's whole group call whole group response. For example, group one will play the line Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Group two will respond with Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then group one will play all the king's horses and all the king's men and group two will play couldn't put Humpty together again. Then we switch round who does the call. So we're going to start with group two doing the call second time we start the phrase. You can practice saying it within your groups. So I'll take the part of group one. I'll take the part of group two. And it will sound something like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now press pause and have a go at saying it first. Welcome back. Now we can play it onto our djembes. So I'll take the part of group one. I'll take the part of group two. Now press pause and have
have a go at playing our big call and response with our groups. Did you manage to get through the call and response section? Brilliant work. It's really tough, but it's great when everybody works in time together. Now to finish off, we're gonna go through the entire piece. Now this is now getting long, but it's really, really worthwhile and you are showing such skills and development of your djembe playing. Now we've got to the end so we can finish our piece and we're gonna finish this episode by playing all the way through the piece that we've just created. It starts with our introduction, followed by four times together with the melody and accompaniment, followed by one-liners all the way around our room. We then move to four times together again, melody and accompaniment, then into the round, which is the most trickiest part of this piece. Then we move to four more times through the melody and accompaniment again, followed by our big call and response with our groups. We then move to four times together again, melody and accompaniment. Then of course, we finish with our ending with our big boom. It should sound something like this. through the entire piece we will of course post the order that we've just played the piece in on the pause screen did you manage to get through the piece well, well done. done now that piece is quite challenging because there's lots of different techniques and skills 
that you've learned throughout these past two episodes. On the next episode, Dave is going to take us through a traditional West African song and djembe piece. In the meantime, remember, practice, practice makes, makes better. better. So keep practicing and revisit the video if you're unsure about any of the parts. At the end, once we've said goodbye, we will again post a still screen with a plenary and keywords so that you can reference everything we've done in today's session. Thank you once again for taking part in our djembe drumming series. We hope you're having a lot of fun and learning some new skills along the way. For now, we will say goodbye, but we'll see you again in episode four. Goodbye. Goodbye.